Hey guys, what's going on? Mike the Caveman Q in here again from Paleo Problem Long Island, MikeTheCaveman.com. And today's question is, why should I not worry about having the perfect diet? Now, I know what you're thinking. Crazy. I'm telling you not to have a perfect diet. No, I'm telling you not to worry about it. Now, this one builds off a lot of my previous videos where I talk about finding balance, not worrying about your macros, what are the best tips to start eating. So let's talk real quick about the reasons why you're trying to eat healthy. You're trying to eat healthy to improve your life. Now, what that means is you're going to be healthier for a longer time and you're going to enjoy your life for a longer time. But that does not mean needlessly restricting everything under the sun. It means avoiding deleterious foods. The problem is a lot of people hear that and they get really stressed and they say, oh no, I'm not going to have enough potassium, I'm not going to have enough magnesium, or I ate too many carbs today, or I didn't get enough omega-3s. There are so many things that you could worry about. Stop. Stress is going to be more important in the long run than the foods you eat overall. So just because you couldn't figure out your macronutrient ratios today or how much micronutrients you get in today doesn't mean that you should say, oh, screw it, I'm just gonna go get a pizza and some ice cream after that. No, it means eat real foods. The only time it becomes important to be tracking everything and micromanaging is if you're trying to improve a condition or you're trying to optimize performance. Either way, the fact of the matter is for most people, you just need to eat real food. Stop stressing and just saying, forget it. No, eat real food. The other half of that is like, oh no, it's too hard to avoid those foods. I really want to have them. Well, look, if you had a condition where you had an anaphylactic shock, if you did eat something or if you didn't, if you had to stab yourself with an EpiPen or else you'd die, you probably wouldn't eat that food or you'd make sure to eat that food. Yeah, because most people's symptoms are subclinical. They're not enough to knock you on your butt. You don't care enough. What it comes down to is making your health a priority. Now, my good friends at the Calthans have their good, better, best system. And the way that basically works is, well, look, I can't get grass-fed beef today, but I'm still going to have beef because it's still better overall than, let's say, a bagel. So if you can't get in your grass-fed beef, so you're going to be a little bit low on your omega-3s and a little bit low on your CLA, that's fine. Cut the fat, add in a quality fat after that, add some quality grass-fed butter or some coconut oil. You can't get organic vegetables. Okay, well, that's not the best, but go with ones that have skins on them. Shave the skins. So make the best choices you can. It doesn't have to be perfect though. Perfect implies you did something wrong if you didn't do it. Choosing real food is still going to be better than choosing a processed piece of garbage. So just focus on eating those real foods. Then if you have minor conditions, things that are subclinical that you need to focus on a little bit, each day focus on adding a little bit more of that in. Or you can use some smart supplementation. That's why I am so big behind the calcium's nutrients. It helps to make sure that I have at least a minimal amount of nutrients for the day. From there, the food I'm eating will fill out the rest. Same thing with Megaspore and Fibrenza. I take those every day to make sure that my gut bacteria are in line, to make sure I'm digesting my food, to make sure I'm breaking down any inflammation that I'm doing while I'm training. So smart supplementation will help with bringing yourself towards what you're missing. So it gives you a little bit of leeway that things don't have to be perfect. They never will be. Now, the caveat to that is, if you do have a condition, you have to focus on it more. If you have diabetes, you gotta cut the sugar. If you have PKU, you gotta avoid protein. So there are certain things where you need to be aware. But if you're just trying to generally improve health or you're trying to deal with subclinical conditions, most times, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just be aware. Stop stressing. Relax. Okay? So your biggest takeaways for today, stop worrying about having the perfect diet. Eat real foods. Supplement as necessary to get to where you need to be. And just relax. Enjoy life. That's the reason why you're eating healthier. So you can enjoy your life more so you can do the things you want to do. So why are you going to stress out about the food? So just relax. That's the biggest message. Get in the sun, have some fun, get your sleep. That way when you wake up, you're recharged and you're ready to go. So hopefully that helped you out, guys. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Hand over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Palmer Island and, of course, over on MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, enjoy your day, make your better choices, if not the best, and I'll see you tomorrow.